blocking him out, buying time for another remnant, and that is going to be first blood coming in for Ferrari for 3 But how goes for the belt of giant strength? And in fact, wow, okay, that's a blink forward. Cool, one goes in range of the Rocket Barrage, the Lion Strike Array is going to connect. Rabbit, you know, take some considerable damage here. The Slave will not be in range from Banana, however. And away to the Hellbears! Denied on the uh, on the uh, first rotation kill. And now you'll see Ferrari also have another crack over at Noof. Dropping him down to one third of his life. Maybe a little bit more. Ferrari, he does have that Invis rune to bottle up. And in fact, Noof's just lagging it out of there. He doesn't want to fight and Super actually missed him. We're in night time so the vision was restricted. He didn't look down into the river as he passed. Radiant's middle tower is under but still, the, the lanes are starting to split up. Heroes are starting to make rotation. Oh, yeah. Ferrari's, Ferrari's going back in. He's still got the bottle charger. Super's going to come in. He's got Soul Assumption damage available. Hanu's going to drop to the Visage. The charge might be coming on Ferrari, but he's bottling up now. He's like, wait, what? <laughs> I don't think he was really watching. I think he might have been shopping at the same time. So Snow Sprint's going to jump. He's going to just slow down Banana. So the Battery Assault can finish the job over on this Lena. Can't cast anything more. And now Spirit Breaker's going to charge in. And Mithra could commit a couple of Spirits to this one. But there's still Hookshot available for Luo, as well as Cogs. And with Torn right behind him, quite have gonna do it. He's only getting it right now. He's heading into a third. But now Nu's trying to rotate up towards the top lane and work with a Spirit Breaker to find some kills. Nu is in a position once one of these creeps goes down, he could potentially just hook shot, and he's going to in fact do that. At the same time, the Ember Spirit just walked himself away. So this Spirit Breaker's got no way out, he's trying to be picked up by Twan. The Shallow Grave will buy him some space here, and now Nu comes in. The Searing Chains over on Lua, but the Solar Assumption timing from Super was absolutely perfect. The Clockwork, probably not going to have this one scot free. Mass Spirit Committal coming in from Nu. He'll be able to kill off Lua, no he won't! The Cogs will push him back, Rubik has taken care of the Lena, and now they move over to the Ember Spirit. Twan will pick up the double kill. And IG goes 6-1 in this game. Luo barely surviving. Doom will complete up his drums. He's already- oh, Banana's about to get dived. Is he? Okay, top lane. Yeah, pick up. Swan's gonna make sure he stays where he is. And I love too the fact that these supports keep kill securing. Like it's either a level 4 Fade Ball, which it was this time from the Rubik. On the Visage, they've got 5 out of the 7 kills of IG on just those two guys. Bottom lane, the cooldown's gonna go to work. Shallow Grave, Spirit Breaker, try to set his ground once again, and Super's here. Will this time Rabbit be able to find it? No, it'll be Clockwork to take the last hit. He's 2 0 2, and they'll find the Dazzle as well. No Shallow Grave available. This one is Storm Spirits. But this also means that T1 Tower is lost on bottom lane, which means it's a, a fair chunk of magical damage. Like, even if it's just there for the absorb and not for the burn. That's still an effective thing. Ferrari can have his TP cancelled right now. He's going to ball lining himself away. So it's up to the rest of IG to do the work. And they will be killing off the Lina. She tried a Laguna play down. What did she actually for Laguna? Because it wasn't a hero. Curry's arrived and they're trying to do everything they can to stop Hal from getting too much farm. And they just jump on, on New. And there's that pullback. The Shallow Grave will be there to keep him alive. And hopefully for himself. Yep, the Spirit defensive a little bit further down. Ferrari keeps on the chase though. They really want this kill. He jumps again to Chuan. Is able to get closer. He stole Fire Remnants and actually chased after him. Gets the kill with the Fade Bolt. They picked up the leader at the same time and the Rocket Barrage carving away at the Spirit Breaker's life. What have we got? Stolen, empowering haste. So they got the movement speed to chase it out. Luo will get bash back with that uh, Nether Strike. It's how being backed back in again by Ferrari. No mana left, but how he's dying to the urn charge. He's actually going to tick out down to one life. And yep, they know he's dead. Rubik. Standing next to his Dazzle with just. Too short on that. Too much time on the cooldown and shadow wave. Oh, that is just heartbreaking. Ig, they go 14, two and 18 minutes. What a quick game! And it could easily end. Like it could end. We completed his vanguard. All these things are working. I think they're about to try and hook shot themselves up to this top tower. Or at least try and force him out. The Storm Spirit. Okay, Ferrari. A little bit too deep. The hookshot comes in from Lua. He actually gets pushed back by the SP who was charging in. How it goes for the Mana Void. It blows up the Aegis Immortal. And they see How in the tree line. 40 life on him. And there's a Storm Spirit. Back to Blood of the Living. They're chasing after Nu. Ferrari just wants to go a little bit deeper. Dragging him back. He knows the Spirit's there. So he jumps forward towards the Spirit. The Orca comes back off cooldown. Animage was capable of TPing out. But they, they stopped the Ember in his tracks. So you, even if this animate is going to get bigger, the Emperor is still stuck at 4.5k net worth to the 8.4k of the Gyro and the Storm. And it's another regen for Ferrari, which... What, again? Could he ask for more? <laughs> but I, I swear Ice Frog just wants, uh, just wants IG to get through into the semi-finals. Oh, mid lane, that's... How's actually going to die after surviving 
<laughs> the uh, initial onslaughts with his teammates not nearby him, he's got no chance of surviving. And Ferrari actually didn't even break the regen there for that kill. So we still have full. Yeah, and I think he actually writes. I think that Newbie realized they're not going to win this fight if they try to defend. Yeah, and in fact oh. they're already going to start losing it. The lean has been isolated out, but Cog's helping to just burn off a lot of her mana. And she gets four star forward, the rocket a little bit too early, but that's why Chuan has double blinks, both the AM as well as the blink dagger. And they're just taking up the bottom tower. Dyer's and yeah, Tower's not joining him. I think he accepts the fact that they cannot defend bottom. So they use Slider Fist from range to slow down the push of IG, and they just get as much of a trade-off on this anti-mage as possible. Yeah, and if miraculously his team holds somehow... I know it's a little bit later, but he could be looking at the Blade Mail pickup as well. So I, like, I still like the idea we were talking about previously about the Crimson Guard. And he's got a lot of money to get to that point. Dyer's middle I think tower. honestly, yeah, that's big. Oh, oh there's your jump. Chuan getting pushed back, he's still got the blink and actually, oh, too late. He got himself cancelled up and now it's going to be Lua getting bounced back. He didn't even commit the hook shot to do this fight, so the SB is going to take a fall. And now your hook shot's committed. He catches up to the Lena. The Shallow Grave already very prematurely being used, so they're saving a lot of their damage. In fact, Lias strike away from Chuan. He steals it and catches out too. That's going to be a big wipe. It is now 2.20 on the clock. I think it's you I was actually talking to about who is the greatest, like, Ruby player, but the second part of it is really who can do it as a support player. That call down position, oh, that is so good. Too late is going to pop. Oh, the Mana Void! That's the big hit! And maybe now, how can turn? But no, Ram is still too strong. 62 life isn't enough damage. They're four staffing away, 34 life, and Bananas chase too deep. He'll lose his life for it all. Lua is looking for what? A pick off with the rocket? Not going to happen. They'll let it go. But yeah, but for our conversation, I was only ever considering support Rubik's because they're the ones good at Witch Doctor, but he's not the greatest in the world. <laughs> yeah. Top, oh. one, blinks in, gets another control. With the last record ray control, they do actually have the Shallow Grave to keep Nu alive, but the problem he has is there's not enough spirits. The homing missile won't give up the chase, Nu, and he knows that, in fact, the homing missile is not what kills him. It was Ferrari. As his last attack was able to chase... And now they also catch out the leader in the mid lane. Clockwork able to kill him off, so... Two heroes down. Yeah, she went for the four staff, Luo, so we went for more... I, I'm actually I, still saying that, like, I, I will say that, um, before we... Before you say yay or nay. Um... That this... The Source 2 is actually a lot better for, for Valve servers. Packet lost his handle a lot better, so it's not just all lie. What a call down. What a shot. Ferrari comes in, and this is a big fight for them. Rabbit just stood his ground, turned on the flag, and then GG. They know it. IG moved like they were going for Roshan. Newbie came over to contest them, and IG, they have been victors previously.